Hello and welcome to every TV English news broadcast. These are the main stories for tonight. Bertrand Nationals residing in the UK retreat readiness to reinforce resolve rebuff. Administrator lost initiative of Haryana Island inhabitants to preserve artifacts. Their stole from Colombia and mass life reached 74. Suicide attack hits Iran mosque. In a meeting they conducted in London on December 12, air travel nationals in the UK reiterated readiness to reinforce the national resort rebuff. The participant of the meeting from different parts of the United Kingdom said that in a view of the unjust US sanctions resolution adopted in the name of the Security Council, prompted them to further enhance their contribution to this end. The nationals also expressed deep impression with the ongoing impression implementation of major development programs in the homeland in accordance with the self-reliance principle. The Ertan ambassador to the UK, Mr. Tasfam Kalgarahtu, gave extensive briefings at the meeting regarding the objective situation in the homeland and the region. The administrator of Northern Red Sea region, Mitsugaradawal de Gergis, lauded the inhabitants of Harena Island, Gal Al Sab Zone, for their initiatives to preserve artifacts. Following a tour she conducted in the island, the administrator observed the lifestyle of the people, progress of education, sanitation of the coastline area in general, and the condition of artifacts in particular. Mitsugarada further highlighted the significance of the trees already plain along the shores in preventing pollution and conserving biodiversity. She also explained that concerted and reverse would be made to continue the practice in collaboration with the ministries of agriculture and fisheries there exist ancient artifacts in harina island preserved by the local inhabitants according to the museum of the northern red sea region harina island is located 11 kilometer northwest of galalo semi-urban center An assessment meeting was conducted in Elaber El Sab Zone aimed at strengthening the teaching learning process. The head of peer education, Mr. Mesfu Tahle, called on teachers to enhance endeavors towards effectively implementing the newly introduced programs in three schools in the Ansaba region. The head of high schools in the region, Mr. Tahle Sambazerai, stated that student center approach has been introduced in schools in Karen, Elaber Ed, and Atakalezan. The participant of the meeting from the sub zones of Karen, Elaber Ed, and Atakalezan, conducted extensive discussion and adopted a number of recommendations, including the need for organizing campaigns to promote the awareness of parents and facilitate the provision of school materials, among others. The inhabitants of Omohajar semi-urban center, Gashbarka region, have obtained reliable transport service following the renovation of the Omohajar Golit Road by the Bidduho Construction Company. The beneficiaries express satisfaction with the provision of such service, which is playing a significant role in facilitating their day-to-day -day activities. They pointed out that the commendable services they are now getting is the outcome of the government's continued endeavors to promote the provision of social services in all corners of the country. The health station in Wadi administrative area, southern Red Sea region, is rendering commendable service, especially to pregnant mothers and children, according to reports. The beneficiaries express satisfaction with the provision of the health service, including mobile service and this domain, particularly in remote areas. Mr. Abdul Saleh, a resident in the area, said that the local inhabitants have developed the culture of visiting health stations as a result of continuous campaigns. Reports disclose that the number of pregnant mothers who frequent visits to health centers continue to grow.
The inhabitants of Seraru, southern Denkalia, are carrying out soil and water conservation activities, including the building of terraces, renovation of roads, and water diverging schemes. They, also, they are also engaged in the construction of four water reservoirs towards alleviating potable water supply problems. Moreover, the local inhabitants stress the need for the deployment of machineries and assigning of experts. Reports indicated that the popular campaign would continue. That was the domestic news and I please stay tuned for the international after short break.